Welcome to my channel. I am Coco Kobis Farm. And this is Kwanazi. And I'm an amateur's only number now. I welcome you to my channel. And of course, yes, I do use Isikosa and Isizulu when I do the introduction. Go on, introduce her. I'm at am. And welcome your spirits as well. Um, I want us to talk about, oh, before we talk about whatever we're going to be talking about, welcome and uh, thank you very much for following the channel, for sharing. Do comment, do subscribe and hit the notification button so that whenever something good has been produced, you'll be the first to know. I'm loving this light. Can you see this? Can you see the dynamics of light? This side is very illuminated and bright and this side is all dark. So let us talk about the two sides that make you to be who you are, darkness and light. It is important for you to understand that in order for light to be illuminated, you need the darkness. And as well, in order for the darkness to be intensified, the light needs to be there. Now, what does it mean for you as a person? in terms of how you handle yourself, your morals, your values, everything that makes you to be who you are. What does it mean? It means that there must be a balance. If there's too much darkness, then there's a problem. And as well, if there's too much light, there's a problem. As they always say, too much of any good thing is also bad. So don't be too overjoyed when things seem to be going too, too well. Because around the next corner, you will find that that's too much joy created an imbalance in the equilibrium. So something needs to be balanced. That's why then sometimes if you notice, if you were too happy, too, too, too happy, the next thing that normally comes is some sorrow and sadness. Because too much of anything creates an imbalance. Therefore, a balance needs to be made. And because sorrow and joy are two great opposites, it's easy for you to notice more and be affected more by the sorrow than the joy. Yes, the joy will give you all the necessary happiness that you need. You know, all the beautiful feelings, all the... You know, when we are happy, there's um, something that happens to your energy. And there's a natural drug that your system releases onto, your, uh, onto you to elevate your mood. So if there's too much of that, as well, you're going to crash. It's the same thing if you eat too much sugar. Eventually, you're going to crash. So it's important for you to always maintain a balance. When you feel that you're going too much on the too much happy side, make sure that you rein yourself in in order for the balance to be maintained. Otherwise, expect it definitely is going to happen. That's how the universe works. And also it's important for you to kind of identify what elements are aligned with you. You, you will know how. You will know. For some people, when they get near the water, they get so excited. That is the water element. For some people, when they just go for a walk, maybe walking barefoot or just walking, they get so happy because they can smell the earth in its purity and they can feel that they get grounded, they get connected. For some people, they will even go and climb the mountains. And for some people, there's something that the fire does to them. When they're in the sun, you know, there's something, they will sunbathe. Something gets ignited in them. So it's important for you to understand those things. And some people, it's just air that amazes them they, they are those people who will even feel if they are in a space that's got too many people they will feel that they are suffocating those people they need a lot of air so it's those people who will go for a walk and sometimes they will even do air therapy somebody will sit in front of a fan and they'll just blow themselves with the fan and there's something that happens to them so it's important for you to understand which element are you connected to are you a water person? Are you an earth person? Are you a wind person? Are you a fire person? Also, pay reverence to the universe. Evoke it in your life so that you can work with the energies. 
for instance, for me, there are situations I will feel that hmm, which element can help me to solve this situation because it's difficult. And then it will come to me that actually a volcano. I need the volcano lava to handle the situation for me. Believe you me, it works. You evoke that energy and whatever you are dealing with, it will be dealt with by the volcano because everything in spirit is about the intention. Whether you are using herbs, imiti, the intention is the key. I can prescribe to you umuti that Abokoko say I must give you because you know with every muti that I would have given you, there is always a conversation between your people and my people. They have an agreement that this is what will work for us. That's why it's important when you go to consult. Also ensure that you have told your people that this is where I'm going to go. Go with me. So that they can give the solutions. They can speak to my people and say, okay, for us, this is what works. That's why sometimes you'll find that there are people you will go to for consultations and the person does not give you what you were expecting or you know normally gets used, you know. They will give you something totally different or their system will be totally different because the connection between my people and your people will determine what will work for you. In some places, you know that even for you, this is what normally works or this is what you've been doing or using. There is a reason why you go to Inyanga, they will give you something different than what you expected because whatever you were doing, the fact that you are there at the consultation has not been working. Now we tend to disable and cripple ourselves through past experiences because we heard that a certain person uses this, therefore it works. No, know who you are. Are you the light? Are you the night? Are you the brightness? Are you the darkness? At the end of the day, when you now understand, then you can tap into those energies. Some people are moon people. Identify something. Because that's where it begins. That's why we have totems. Totems are what speaks to our clan. Your particular clan will have a certain totem. And that is what they must evoke in order for assistance. They must evoke in order for it to work for them. Some people do not even know how important it is for you to understand your totem. Because you have to understand the characteristics of that animal. If it's an animal or that bird. For instance, let's say, say umukwena, you know, and the kwena, they live in water. Crocodiles live in water. Already being told something about you, who you are. It means that you are not a people who are foreign to bathing in the river. That is where your power lies. And not necessarily all the time you have to be going with a healer, with umoti. It is your natural habitat, your natural territory. You must go as long as you set the intention and speak to your people that my people, I'm here. I need your help. I'm tapping into the source. Because if you understand that, then everything will unravel and you will be free of any problems that you have. As well, if maybe you are a bird, what are the characteristics of that bird? What does it eat? Some birds, there are particular diets that they have. So your totem will also speak to who you are. It's important to know what is your totem. And even when it shows up in your dreams, it's bringing you a message. You know that. But it's not enough to say that, oh, I saw Abokoko. I saw our totem appearing in my dream and that's it. No, dig deeper. Why was it there? What message was it bringing you? What were you being told to do? If you dreamt of, um, for instance, I have someone who sent me, uh, was asking me about a dream. Uh, they dreamt about white people jumping into the water. And the fact that they ask about it, they know that there is a significance. This person is being shown what kind of people they are working with. At the same time, it's an invitation for them to connect more with the water. It's an invitation for them to go for a cleansing. So it's two-thronged. 
that brings from who they are, who they are working with, and who they must venerate. At the same time, go for your cleansing. It's as simple as that. All you need is to open your eyes and your heart and ensure that you communicate well with yourself so that you can communicate well with your people. So, Zanibokoko, have a fantastic time. You know that I love you and thank you and appreciate you for coming to this channel. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Talk design.